Hello everyone, welcome back. I realised that in the last episode I've now lied to you because I've just realised what I'm going to do uh, for this episode. So if you missed the last episode against Dortmund, it was the first leg of the Champions League, go back and watch that. Do it now. Right, back up, back, welcome everyone. Uh, so, last episode we lost to Dortmund, 2-1. And I said to you I was going to bring you the Crystal Palace match. As you can see, not played the Newcastle one yet, so why Ben? Why have you not played it? Because I'm going to bring you three games in one, um, but in a slightly different format. Newcastle Palace and Manchester United... We're going to go through, I'm going to show you the highlights from each game, and that's going to be today's episode, and I'm going to see if you like it. So, uh, let's crack on. The first game, we're going to go unchanged, I think, um, playing against Newcastle United. I'm going to stay the same, but I am going to drop Wellington slightly further back in the anchor roll and see what we can get out of the side. So, yeah, first game, Newcastle United. Let's get into it. So, we're going to see Newcastle are in 10th spot. Uh, there aren't many points behind us actually, only 7 points and you can see there Norwich have, have slipped in above us, uh, although we do have a game in hand which I think is the game right now, they're playing 3 at the back, very interesting, let's see if there's yeah, any exciting highlights within the game today. First real highlight of the game is, is Newcastle on the attack they're working the ball quite nicely down our left side which is a concern, and in the middle they've, they've, they've switched it back to the other side, blimey make your minds up Newcastle, Contreras fantastic, he's very good at that, his tackling is T1 uh, can we find some sort of break on Genda? I'm trying to get. I'm going to give him a run of games, uh, including the Champions League stuff, because I want to try and find some form from him. Uh, out to get so into on Genda, and there's the goal. Look, there we are, one nil. Even 3D goodness. What a strike! No one in the ground. Still. All right, back again. Another highlight. Uh, Toblin out to Konate. Plays it inside. Cabela, lovely ball through. He looked offside to me, but it looks like they're going to give it. Bowers. They've had the better of the first uh, 28 minutes, so they deserve that goal. But it doesn't make it any less nice for me to watch uh, Cabello as you can see through ball it's definitely offside definitely outrageous I feel cheated straight after that they're back again oh Kazanik makes a great oh what a block tackle number 5 is that is that Manamanara it is what a block tackle that was Cabello puts it in and they head the ball wide Ooh. All right, highlight for us. Throw in on the left hand side Kaskas taking it inside back to Silva oh cruel saves it the highlights continued from that cruel save Newcastle working it quite nicely. Can't do anything with it. Silver now. Can we work this out from the back? There's no obvious out ball, but Chris Nick's played one forward. Kopik's onto it. Onjenda now. He's turned. He's running up the defence. Go on, Onjenda. Go on, bang it in, my boy. Oh, cruel. Another save. Okay, so at half time, uh, Goran Kopik is struggling a little bit for fitness. So we'll bring Joe Allen on. Uh, we'll give him a go. And we'll just we'll continue forward. Uh, we're still playing on the counter, which I'm not sure is working for us. Oh, dear. I thought 1-1, they would be okay with it. So after going control, 10 minutes in, we have ourselves a highlight. Uh, Contreras down this right side. Oh, bursts into the air. Casca, lovely little header. The ball in's magnificent. That's 2-1 Swindon, 23rd goal of the season. My word, Casca is on fire this year. Oh, at this point, j just during this game, so don't worry about it, but this, at this point, the game just stopped working. Uh, and we scored two more goals, spoilers. And the first was Mario Goetz. They're both, I was like, I remember talking about it, raving about how good Contreras was. Um, just, I don't know what happened. I can't get over it, folks. My mic's just stopped working during this bit. As you can see, Goetz uh, heads in the first one. Lovely little ball in. Contreras roams that right side like nobody else. So the second is a Casca goal. Uh, ball off to over the top, and he finishes it with a plum. And that was kind of it. Uh, we, we got the goal. We made it four. And obviously, the first half, Newcastle were pretty good. Um, we came back into it, though, luckily for us. And there it was. It ended 4 1. And uh, we march on into the next game against Crystal Palace. Right then, game two. Uh, Crystal Palace made some changes for this one. Actually, we need to make another one. I just noticed it. Blimey, Benny boy, get your get your ass in gear. Uh, we're gonna have to take Diallo out and put Alan in. So uh, the changes we've made. Uh, Valhol has come in at centre back. Uh, we've put Pizazuk, who's now back. Pixie's back, and he's going up top. And Fielder is also going in midfield, just because of his name. There's no other reason for him to be there. Anyway, hopefully we have something interesting going on. Uh, we're in sixth. They are in twelfth. Another big game. Let's make sure we can win it. Team talk's gone better than last time. In fact, we're going to start this game in control. Uh, we obviously played much better against Newcastle, playing in the same way. So we're going to try the same approach, and hopefully, hopefully, we get the win. All right, first real incident of note was a throw into Crystal Palace, but they've done nothing with it. And Casca now finds Pizzo's. Oh, he's got away from his man. Come on, my boy. Oh, you've got to start finishing those one-on-ones. Corner, anything coming from it? Floated in, uh, not really. Joe Allen's going to recycle it back to Contreras, who could always do something. I mean, he's making his way out to his favourite place, that right wing spot. Ah, oh, Joe Allen gets it back though. Goetze, let's just get a shot of goal. Let's test him. Test him. Oh, this is underwhelming. Go on. Right, well, that for that, really. Okay, corner. Goetze whips it in. Fielder, 
Casco on the edge, Gabriel Silva. Oh, it's hit the bar, he's rattled it. The whole ground was shaking. And it's been, again, why do we keep just running out of play? Mario Goetze struggling again in this first half. Uh, and I think because of that, I'm happy with the performance. I'm happy with it. It's fine. Nil nil up half time. Well, they obviously expect more, which is good. But I don't want to. I don't want to just berate them all. Uh, we are going to make a change today. Mario Goetze is going to come off. We're going to put an agenda just behind the two strikers. Uh, he's played that role before. We're also going to switch to fluid. I don't think we're working the ball enough. So second half, we go again. So far, the team talks have been a letdown. Okay, 51 minutes in, and the first real highlight of the second half I thought was going Crystal Palace's way but we've got it back Manama finds it up Pizazuk picks it on agenda can he get there he has to he's through on goal one on one oh he's oh I thought he the keeper I got very excited <laughs> apparently he skimmed the top of the crossbar alright 65 minutes gone Casket has now picked up a knock um, ideally I don't want to take him off but because on agenda's already on we'll make the change in fact Daniel Sturridge is probably the right man to bring on in fact, let's try, let's try this out. Now, it says that Pixie can't play that at all in before he scores a goal. Okay, throw into Crystal Palace. We're going to have to try and clear this in before Crystal Palace we'll score a goal. Though I'm not sure our attacking substitution is the reason for it. Uh, let's see who's to blame. I don't, I don't want to point fingers, Swindon. But, you know, there's nobody. It annoys me every time. Uh, Hello, and then ugh, just, I don't know. Long throws on this game are a little bit overpowered and we're failing to deal with them. Right, attacking. We can't just hold back anymore. Ten minutes to go. Oh, Contreras is injured. That is a problem. Aaron Cresswell is going to come off, have to come on at right back. But if he's out for a while, that is going to be a story. Pizarzuk working it forward. Storage. Come on, my boy. Get a goal. Go on, Danny. Oh, I'll tell you what he has done. Pixies with the assist. Daniel Sturridge has just scored an absolute beauty. I told you, he, he would found it. Well, it wasn't like a major assist, but he did find him. And then Sturridge from distance, bang! Oh, I tell you what, they're off their feet, off their feet, off their seat. At least it rhymed. And that's going to bring us to the end of the game. In fact, oh, my word, they had, a, th they had a, uh, a free kick. Well, I'll wait to the end of the game, then we'll come back. I say all this. We're on the attack. Daniel Sturridge, surely not a late minute goal. Surely not. Oh, go on. Oh, my word. I thought we were going to do it. Full time at the county ground. Swindon 1. Crystal Palace 1. Huh. Four points from two games. Um, it's not awful, but it's not ideal. Obviously, we expect us to beat Palace, and we haven't done it. And, and the gap between us and fourth is getting that little bit wider game on game. Uh, Manchester United next. We'll shoot forward towards it, and I'll bring you it live. Right, then. Game 3. Uh, as you can see, Manchester United in second place, 54 points. Many points above us, uh, 12 to be exact. So a win here, and we close the gap on them, and the title dream is still alive. I've gone from saying we probably won't get in the top four to talking about a title dream. It's just how I roll. They've still got Falcao up front, which is interesting. How old is, the, is he now? 35, which means he's actually about 50. Anyway, uh, we'll get into the game. I'd, mm, hang on, hold on. We've got things to do. Uh, and weird noises to make, apparently. Manamana is going to get a rest before the Champions League final. I'm doing very... I'm doing a lot of changes here. I don't know if I'm doing it wisely or not. Uh, we're going to change up the midfield completely. I'm going to bring Daniel Sturridge on for Casca, who I want to be fit for the next game. Obviously, Sturridge scored that screamer uh, recently, so we'll keep him in there. Aside from that, don't think I'm going to change anything else. In fact, no, no, I'm not. Let's get into the game. Right, because we're playing against Manchester United, uh, I've gone back to counter. Hopefully, it'll come out for us. Uh, the big th thing for this game, really... To me, the uh, the fitness in the form of oh my word of Mario Goetze, Mana Mana didn't get much of a break, did he? We're going to switch these two back round to their regular positions, but oh good grief, that didn't last long. So in the early stages, we've had a shot, and then Ryan Gould has done that. Well, we need to go. I'm going to. I'm, do you know what? I'm going to just go for it. I think second half, uh, or second half, first half, and second half. We're going to go attack in from this point on. Uh, we will enjoy the free kick. I guess Ryan Gould steps up, last little <laughs> shimmy before he shoots, and uh, that is as top corner as top corner can be. So you know, credit to him. The, the Ground didn't seem to care all that much. They're coming forward again. Rafina out to Voland, the man I do not enjoy playing against. Tackled. Rafael, though. Back to Voland, who just does horrible things against me. Rafael. It looks inevitable, doesn't it? It really does. Falcao with a strike. It's not inevitable. It's a great save. Right. We've got ourselves a chance. Okay. Well, that's gone. <laughs> Daily Blind to Voland to Shaw. Uh, Shaw plays it forward to Voland, and they are quite terrifying going forward although they're doing it quite slowly Abrakov you'll get, you're getting sent off aren't you like that's what this is for yes okay well he's suspended for some Premier League games he's definitely starting the Champions League one not that he can be trusted so um, we now don't have another centre back Wellington can you play there nope 
Oh dear. Um, Gabriel Silva, what are you like at centre back? Better than I expected. Right. Um, Gertz is going to have to come off. We'll save him for the Champions League, and we're just going to try and hold with two up top. So at half time, things aren't looking too good, but we're only 1 0 down. Um, so, you know, we, it can change around at any moment. I think we're going to go a little bit more direct in the second half because uh, we have to. Not that you'll have seen this, but Manchester United have got a player called Ruben Moons. What a great name. He's a regen, obviously, but Ruben Moons. Oh. Daniel Sturridge is struggling out there, uh, fitness wise. We have got some strikers on the bench. Obviously, Casca seems the obvious choice. Uh, actually, we're going to bring on gender on and just drop him a little deeper. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, ball's played up. We've, we've got it at feet. Pixie's lost out to Rojo, and he's got he's got men wide. He hasn't really got much ahead of him. They seem a little bit stuck here, but Daily Blinn's working out. There's Moons, Reuben Moons, great name. Uh, great dog. Volland, out to Wilson, who takes on his man with ease, bursts into the middle, out to the other side. Gould with his second of the game, and the wonder kid, who's probably no longer a wonder kid, despite the fact he looks 13 in that picture, has got himself another goal. It's a good drive inside. It's a good ball out wide, and it's a good finish as well. Ha, ah, that might be game over with 10 men. We can't expect too much, can we, really? This highlight straight from the kickoff, and I thought we were going to do something magical. No, it's another Manchester United attack. Wilson is burst through our entire team. The first save was good. We've not had a shot. I, I just want to have a shot now. The game is, can we have a shot? Here we go. Could this be our first shot? Contreras, he's been... He's been wrestled to the ground Rojo's got to be off for that it was late it was it was in the air it was off the ground it was two footed it was Argentine like get rid of him yellow we've not even had a shot come on shoot shoot somebody shoot on agenda oh well at least we've had a shot Cresswell come on another chance does that count as a shot oh come on give us it <sighs> you know they're on the attack again Mata Luke Shaw um, Falcao he played it right across to Gould. Wilson, Falcao can't miss, and it's four. And I probably shouldn't have gone overload. We're going to shut up shop. Um, defensive and just, just flexible, just do a bit of both. Not gone well, this game. Not gone well at all. The swing not, doesn't always go to plan. This is one of those days that have gone to Old Trafford and they've given us a beating. Another highlight. Not sure I even want to watch it. Um, Richards, come on. Can we, can we? Oh, we've had a few more shots since the last one, I noticed. Contreras, come on. Move it forward, lad. Don't get tackled again. Wellington, lovely ball. Go on, Pixie. Go on, Pixie. Oh, dare you. <laughs> Just get your move to Spain. Oh, my God. 5-0. 5-0 at the Swamp. The red card has killed us. The, the, the shape's gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. Do you know what? I'm already thinking. Remind me of this near the time, folks, that I will be bringing wingers in in the summer. I feel like we lack that width. Uh, I haven't got any natural wingers this year. I decided to play a narrow formation. And in this sort of game, it's not helped us at all. Pixie should have scored. Oh. That was the best chance of our entire game. And there we have it. Full time Manchester United 5, Swin and Nil. If you've enjoyed the episode, though, if you've enjoyed my little commentary over the three games, uh, do let me know. If you've enjoyed the video completely, please leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel. And from me, Dr. Benji. With the Swindon lot in sixth place and the season looking, you know, 12 games to go, not looking great, it's a goodbye. Goodbye. I wanted to do it officially.